Him. You mean a Tem? Ah, uh, sorry, just forget that I even brought it up. You, it's okay. You guys shared a connection. It totally makes sense you miss him sometimes. You used to be a part of me. Yeah. And the handshake, and there he goes. Oh my god. Dean Cowboy takes it on with Pan Kids. Is the winner of YCS. I wish I just had one more chance to let him know what he meant to me. There's so many emotions connected to this game for me. This is a big part of my life and it, and it means a lot. It's uh, something that I will hold on to for the rest of my life. What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering and it's always kind of weird reporting on someone passing and so I try to pick my spots very wisely reporting on figures who impacted not just my life, but maybe a large portion of my viewers. And that's exactly what Kazuki Takahashi uh, has done. The creator of Yu-Gi-Oh, not just the anime, anime, but the card game. Now, I'm not a big fan of the anime. I know many of you have been trying to get me into it over the years. You, you, you bullied me into buying Berserk. I still haven't found any time to read it. Hopefully after I move, I can. Um, but the card game I knew well, um, uh, my community in the Magic the Gathering world, we intersected quite often with Yu-Gi-Oh! And, uh, I have a great affinity for anyone who put together, uh, a card game like that, who, uh, that stood the test of time. Yu-Gi-Oh! and its secondary market problems were, were not his fault, but it, it made the game kind of hard to play. But, uh, or to collect because the prices and the reprints were always frustrating. But, like, that had nothing to do with the card game. The card game has stood the test of time. And, and, and really, in a community where there's really, you know, three major TCGs, and that's Magic the Gathering, Yu Gi Oh!, and Pokemon, uh, there have been many others over the years that have tried to stake a claim. The Final Fantasy trading card game, quite popular in Japan. There's been a whole mess of TCGs here. Um, you know, even the creator of Magic the Gathering put out kind of a standalone card game to try and compete with Magic, but nothing really could compete with Magic quite like Yu-Gi-Oh! did. Uh, it was a very different community. There wasn't a lot of crossover from what I remember at the local card game, local card shops. Like some card shops, they sold Magic, and then different card shops, they sold Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, there were probably players that played both, but... Um, you always knew and respected Yu-Gi-Oh! for its tournament size and for the secondary market and for the artwork in particular and the cardstock quality and things of that nature. Uh, and this morning it was reported that the Japanese artist who created the beloved manga series Yu-Gi-Oh! has passed away at the age of 60. According to reports from Japan public broadcaster NHK, Takahashi was discovered floating in shallow waters off of the coast uh, in Japan, on the Japan coast by, the, by their Coast Guard on Monday, June 6th, he was wearing snorkeling equipment when he was found. Police and Coast Guard are currently investigating the circumstances around his passing. Now, it's being reported uh, by a few people that it was just like a scuba accident. Uh, I certainly, you know, it's one of those things where like, you know, you hope that's the case. Um, I, I suppose we'll find out more. Uh, but the, the 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 impact that he made on not just the you know the trading card community, but in the anime community is is never going to go away. His legacy, um, while his life was taken so early, um, is undeniable. 
You say, originally from Tokyo, Takahashi became a star among manga artists. Thanks to Yu-Gi-Oh! For his first serialized work, the series was first published in 96 and ran to, until 2004. Following the story's success in print, Yu-Gi-Oh! became a multimedia franchise with a hit anime series, numerous card game, video games, sorry, many video games, and card games, and more. Takahashi remained a key part of the series throughout his entire life, having most recently written the original story for Yu-Gi-Oh! The Dark Side of Dimensions anime film. Released back in 2017, he predominantly acted as a supervisor over many other projects in the franchise. While Takahashi has worked at several other projects, Yu-Gi-Oh! will of course be his lasting legacy. The physical card game even has a Guinness World Record for the trading card game with the highest number of sales in the world. I didn't know that. I didn't know that they had that record. It's, it's very impressive. Uh, considering, you know, the decline of Magic the Gathering over the years, I, I guess I wonder which year that was. Now, Yu-Gi-Oh! is more international, I think, than Magic the Gathering, which is a big part of that. Um, you know, and you see some more about it. He was discovered on Wednesday. Uh, he was traveling alone um, in, at a popular vacation destination and apparently had been snorkeling when he passed away of, quote, unknown causes, a Coast Guard spokesperson said. Mr. Takahashi, whose real name was uh, Kazao, Kuzo, sorry, began, if I mispronounce that, working as a manga artist back in the 80s, but wasn't until 96 that he began his rise to international fame with the story of a spiky-haired boy who challenges his enemies to duels involving magical games. The story started off as a one-off, but ended up being running for nearly eight years in the pages of popular Japanese boys' comic magazine, Weekly Show and Jump, along the way inspired movies, TV shows, video games, and collectible trading card game, which rivaled Pokemon as Japan's most recognizable cultural export. The series and its spinoff became a marketing goliath that sold itself. Movies and TV shows featured the characters playing a card game very similar to the ones fans could purchase in their neighborhood hobby shops. New cards have been released on a regular basis ever since, continuing to update even after the manga and anime had finished. Yu-Gi-Oh! manga ha have made frequent appearances on bestseller lists, and Trading Card Game has generated billions of dollars in revenue for its publisher, Konami. A new video game version released back in January was downloaded 30 million times in the first three months. Local firefighters discovered Mr. Takahashi's body at 11 a.m. Wednesday following a report from local tourists. The Coast Guard said adding that is investigating the cause. Uh, I'm assuming, I guess I'm not a doctor, um... But it's, you know, some sort of, um, I don't know, maybe embolism or something like, uh, I guess, you, I don't know, snorkeling, you don't go that deep. You're just, you know, you go down a little ways generally, unless you're, you know, super experienced. But, um, you know, I think um, the impact that he has had in the, in the community is very difficult to understate. I grew up playing you know, collectible card games. Uh, my hobby is collecting like dead trading card games, all sorts of wild trading card games out there. Um, and what the card game did is what I can speak to most, really brought people together, just like Magic the Gathering did. Um, there's a whole YouTube community. There's like M. Cole 40. There's a whole bunch of other you go youtubers certainly the pack breaks were always really popular on youtube um it was a game that Yu-Gi-Oh players tried to teach me because i played magic the gathering but <laughs> if you play a trading card game you know it's really hard to afford to play two games at once at least competitively um trading card games you know i was more of a collector than a you know i love to play but i'm not very good um but you can only afford really one of them unless you're like super rich or like a, a YouTuber who opens packs for a living. That That's really why I started Unsleeve Media. Back, I used to have a YouTube channel called MTG Headquarters and then I changed it to Unsleeve Media um, because I wanted to, you know, access other trading card games like Yu-Gi-Oh! And, and other things like that because the community was so welcoming. Um, I, I, you know, made friends with a lot of yu gi tubers um and learned about the software that they play with online which was bizarre to me at the time but it made sense eventually uh and so i'm sure you know i i think 
what's important is you know the game that I'm speaking of. Now I'm not even talking about the you know the cartoons and the movies and things of that, or the anime. Sorry, not cartoons. Um, but the game brought so many people together and um, spent such a you know it was like no matter how bad things get or how how tough things got, you had your card game, you had your Yu-Gi-Oh cards, or you had your Magic cards, or you had your Pokemon cards, or your um, what's the other one I'm trying to think of? Um, there's a couple. A Dragon Ball Z even has Dragon Ball TCG is actually really high quality card stock. Um, Schwartz White. There's whatever you played, you went to the local card shop, and that's where your friends were. And I grew up going to local card shop, local hobby shops with like five dollars in my pocket and sorting through the dime cards, you know, the commons and uncommons, and trying building decks and things of that nature. And uh, I'm sure the experience is exactly the same for Yu-Gi-Oh players. And I think it's important that, uh, you know, that carries on. And uh, hopefully there'll be some some closure brought. Hopefully it was nothing weird, uh, I'm assuming. Uh, but, uh, yeah, thanks for Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, I'm, sh- you know, and the card game and the community. And uh, I'm sure a lot of people are hurting today, but uh, they'll never take away what he delivered to the community. So uh, rest in peace, uh, sir. And uh, I'm not going to say I hope you enjoyed this video because it'll be bad news. But, uh, you know, we'll get on with the rest of the day's news like we always do. But uh, let's not forget uh, what Mr. Takahashi has delivered to the world.